The Zopotecs, referred to as the Cloud People, inhabited the southern highlands of central Mesoamerica, particularly the Valley of Oaxaca. Their presence spanned from the late pre-classic period to the end of the classic period, 500 BCE to 900 CE. They established their capital first at Monte Albon and later at Mitla. The Zopotecs exerted influence over the southern highlands, spoke a version of the Otto Zapotecan language, and engaged in trade and cultural exchanges with civilizations such as the Olmec, Teotihuacan, and Maya. The Zopotec civilization emerged from agricultural communities in and around the Oaxaca valleys. During the pre-classic period, they established significant trade connections with the Olmec civilization on the Gulf Coast. This trade facilitated the creation of an impressive capital at Monte Albon and enabled the Zopotecs to dominate the region during the Classic period. Monte Albon, situated strategically to overlook the three main valleys, gradually evolved from around 500 BCE and remained the cultural nucleus until the civilization's decline around 900 CE. The Zopotecs had various important settlements beyond their capital. Over 15 elite palaces have been identified in the surrounding valleys. The Zopotec society can be divided into three main groups, Valley Zopotec, centered in the Valley of Oaxaca, Sierra Zopotec, located in the north, and Southern Zopotec, found in the south and east, nearer the Isthmus of Tuantepec. Major Zopotec sites across the Y-shaped Valley of Oaxaca include Monte Albon, Oaxaca, Huitzo, Etla, San Jose Mogot, Zachila, Zamatlan, Ocortlan, Obasalo, Tlacalula, and Mitla. Mitla, established around 900 CE, became a prominent Zopotec city known for its plaza-centered architecture adorned with geometrical relief designs. During the late pre-classic period, Zopotec cities exhibited advanced levels of architecture, arts, writing, and engineering projects like irrigation systems. High of El Agua showcases terraced hillsides artificially irrigated by extensive canals supplied by natural springs. Traces of interaction with other Mesoamerican cultures are evident, as seen at the Dainzu site featuring a stone-faced platform with reliefs depicting players of the Mesoamerican ball game wearing protective headgear. Close ties between the Zopotecs and the Teotihuacan people in the basin of Mexico are well documented. Teotihuacan even reserved a specific area within the city for the Zopotec community. The Zopotec religion encompassed a diverse array of deities, much like other Mesoamerican belief systems. These gods represented significant aspects of human life, including rain, sun, wind, earth, and war. Notable deities included the bat god, linked to corn and fertility, Bado, the god of seeds and wind, Kosho, the rain and lightning god with a human body adorned with jaguar and serpent features, Pitao Kozobi, the corn god, Kopishja, symbolized by the Makor, the god of the sun and war, Kokobila, the god of the earth center, Huchana, a mother goddess tied to hunting and fishing, Kedo, the god of justice, Ndun, the androgynous god of the oceans, Pixibakala, the god of love, and Kokizi, the creator god symbolizing infinity. Different cities often venerated their own patron deities. For instance, Coconexo, known as the Lord of Multiplication, was the patron god of Zoquiapa. Koki Bezalau and Zanaxi Kwakuya, gods of death and the underworld, were patrons of Mitla and Tiakuakulko, and Kozi Kakozi, another war god, was the patron of Ocelotepec. The Zopotecs engaged in offerings, prayers, and sacrifices to seek favor from these deities. These rituals aim to gain divine intervention in human affairs, such as bringing vital rain for crops, ending droughts, or ensuring fertility for the land and its inhabitants. The Zopotecs also followed the Mesoamerican tradition of associating their calendar with various glyphs representing significant natural elements like crocodile, drought, and earthquake. Situated on a series of mountain plateaus around 400 meters above sea level, Monte Albon was the central hub for residents rituals, and economic activities of the Zopotec civilization. It gradually replaced San Jose Mogot as the most vital settlement in the valley, between 500 and 450 BCE. Additionally, Monte Albon served as the burial place for Zopotec rulers for over a thousand years. The city thrived significantly during the late pre-classic period, with a population peaking at around 20,000 people, and again from 400 to 700 CE, when the population grew to 25,000. 
The city's influence extended over approximately 1,000 settlements throughout the valley. Most of the structures visible today on the main plaza primarily date back to the classic period, except for the Temple of the Danzantes, a stone platform structure constructed during the site's initial occupation, Monte Bonai. The term Danzantes stems from the dancing relief figures adorning the platform. These figures, around 300 in total, vary in appearance and pose, representing different individuals, some possibly old males or mutilated figures. The Temple of the Danzantes also features relief stones with the earliest identified written texts in Mexico. These texts display an alphabet combining semantic and phonetic elements, yet to be fully deciphered, numbers represented by dots and bars, and glyphs for the 260-day year based on 20-day names and 13 numbers, following the 52-year cycle of the calendar round. Artifacts from this period include pottery made from fine grey clay, often adorned with incised figures similar to the Danzantes, whistling jars, with two chambers that created a whistling sound when liquid was poured, stand out among the pottery types. The Zopotecs excelled in sculpture, with effigy figures, groups of figures, and urns crafted from materials like clay and jade. Monte Albon evolved through different phases. Monte Albon II, dating from around 150 BCE to 150 CE, featured a large arrow-shaped building known as Building J, adorned with carved text and reliefs depicting regional conquests, illustrated by the heads of defeated kings displayed upside down. Monte Albon III emerged during the subsequent Classic period, influenced by Teotihuacan. This phase witnessed the construction of an I-shaped ball court and the Temple Patio Altar Complex, a design replicated at various sites across the valley. Over 170 underground tombs have been excavated, often with vaults and antechambers featuring richly painted walls, reflecting the city's wealth. These tombs also suggest a focus on ancestor worship within Zopotec culture, the exact reasons behind the decline of both the city of Monte Albon and the broader Zopotec civilization remain unclear. There is no evidence of violent destruction at Monte Albon, unlike a sudden collapse. This decline coincided with the fall of Teotihuacan and a rise in conflicts among different states. While the specific cause remains elusive, the city's significance endured in different ways. Although Monte Albon experienced decline, it remained significant in various aspects. The Mixtec civilization that followed later adopted it as a sacred site and a burial place for their own rulers. The Zopotec presence did not vanish entirely either. During the early post-classic period, they established a new and smaller center at Mitla. The Zopotecs referred to Mitla as Lyoba, meaning the place of rest. This new center also boasted impressive structures, including the renowned Hall of the Columns. Mitla continued to be occupied and maintained its importance even during the Spanish conquest. The city's endurance showcases the resilience of the Zopotec culture, albeit in a different location and with new developments. The legacy of both Monte Albon and Mitla serves as a testament to the enduring impact of the Zopotec civilization on the region's history and culture.